A warm welcome to you all. Without further delay, we are pleased to introduce your new manager. Here we go again. Hey guys, welcome to the FIFA 23 and a new career mode save. We're at Plymouth this time. So just have a quick look at our objectives, the usual for youth development. 10 games with at least one goal. Should be able to do that, no problem. Continental success, none obviously because we're not in it. Gain automatic promotion is a big ask, I think, straight away. Reach the last 16 of the FA Cup. Again, very tough depending on our draw. And sell two players and sign two crucial players to replace them. So hopefully we can get that one then. The unspent budget shouldn't be a problem either. So we haven't got a lot of money. Looking at the team, they're playing a 5-2-3 off the bat with Maya and Azaz as the the wide wingers, uh, the high wingers as well. Um, we'll give it a go. It's not my favourite formation, but I'm quite happy to try giving it a go for the default. I like playing with the default formation when I can. Let's have a quick look into our short list. We've got a few players on here already. So one of the places we need is a decent backup keeper. Um, obviously, we found this guy, Dan Ladd. He's a freebie. I'm not sure how I feel about signing freebies straight away. Talbot at Bohemian looks all right. Looks good for League One. But if we're looking for immediate promotion, is he going to be good enough going forward? Hopefully. I think he's a decent addition. He's probably the pick of the three for me. Obviously, the freebie is cheaper. But, you know, the undecided on freebies yet in the FIFA 23. Connor Hazard's over in Helsinki, Northern Irish. He's six foot six. Could be an option. Cruiser at Hellisir. I found him looking on Sofifa. He had really good high stats, so maybe he's a potential player for us. Tom Hamer. He's probably up one of my first targets. He can play left or right wing back. Junior Shimadu at Colchester. He's only 18. Probably not quite ready for our first team yet, but a solid player. Ryan Cooney at Morecambe. Again, playing the league below. Decent enough player, but if we're looking for automatic promotion... Is he going to be there good enough? Warren O'Hora. My main concern with O'Hora is his pace or lack of. But a good player. Six foot three. He's only 23 years old. Anton Walks. He's based over in America. So if you didn't know, Plymouth have American owners. So we'll be looking at American based players or American internationals. Romney Critchlow was on loan at Plymouth last year from Huddersfield. And he's gone out to Bradford this year. So he might be one to keep an eye on just in case, just to bring that storyline back in that we've signed him on a permanent deal. But as I say, he's at Bradford this season. Crisini is a left wing back. So he is online from Aston Villa. He has quite low overall to start with, but high potential. John Russell, very, very solid lower championship CDM. Again, very young, 21, six foot four. Could be a real option for us. Louis Reed at Swindon, so instead of looking up, looking down a division at Swindon, he had a great season in real life last year. Jack Earing, unsure about this one, he's probably not quite good enough, but didn't realise Warsaw was sponsored by Poundland either, so that's an interesting one. But we'll scout him and see what he looks like. Could be an option. Indiana Vasilev, as I mentioned, like Plymouth's American owner, so we'll look at American players. He's owned by Aston Villa. Um, right wing, left wing, could be a great addition, gives us an option. Alistair Johnston, he's listed as a right mid, but he looks better as a right wing back. Ethan Arahan, playing in Scotland at the minute, could be another option in midfield for us. He's probably an improvement on what we've got. Clayton Lewis is one that I found again on Sofiva. He had a good, well rounded skill set. Dawson Devoy. MK Dons have got some really good youth players this season. And again, whether he's good enough to go into the championship with us, I don't know. Callum McCower, similar with Dan Ladd. I'm not sure how I feel about free transfers off the bat, but we'll scout him. Anthony Scully was out on loan to a League One side last year. And he's gone back to Wigan this year. So I don't know if we'll be able to get him. But he's a very good player. Top end League One, lower championship. Andreas Sheldrup, he looks class. And he's at Nordschland. And I think at 18, he could be a really good investment if we can get him and if he's interested. Well-rounded, calm, left-wing or striker. Glenn McConnell, he, this guy's a bit 
a bit of a left field one. He's very young, high potential, but it's overall is quite low. So it's whether we can take the chance on him, buy him and loan him out. Whereas Luke McCormack is more of a ready-made player. He's ready to go straight into our first team if we so choose. The default formation, though, doesn't play a cam, so we might have to re reprioritize these guys. But Alvarado, United States player, playing at Vizela. Chilvers is a really good well-rounded midfielder at Colchester in the league below. High attacking work rate, some really good traits there as well, so it could be one for the future to bring in. Giacchini, we've got some good strikers at the club already, but his ability to play on the right wing as well could give him an opportunity. Shane Lavery, quality player. Again, lower championship, top league one. Whether we will grow out of him before he gets a chance to really come to us, I don't know. Jordan Garrick was on loan at Plymouth last year, so keeping tabs on him, similar to Critchlow, just to make sure we might have that storyline that he comes back when he leaves Swansea. And Tim, uh, Tom Bloxham, this kid looks class in real life and on FIFA, 18-year-old. So some interesting mix of choices there. Thanks, guys. We can get going now, yeah? Okay, guys, we'll be wrapping up now. Thank you for attending. It's the opening day of a new season and both teams will be looking to start quickly. You can feel the excitement in the air. All the action coming up next. Don't go anywhere. Well, the weather forecast has promised us an agreeable day for football, and that's exactly what we've got. I'm Derek Ray, your match commentator, and alongside providing all the tactical and technical analysis, it's Stuart Robson. And you can really sense the anticipation in the crowd ahead of kickoff with their respective league seasons about to get underway. It's Plymouth Argyle, and they take on Derby County. Well, Derek. And he's made headway. And how well the keeper did. Well, that's just exceptional. Well, who will be the player to decide the outcome, to determine the course of events? No reason at all why it won't be this man, Stuart. What do you anticipate seeing from him? Well, Derek, goal scorers... Oh, Stuart, they might be onto something here. A truly magnificent start. An early goal in the game. Just what they were hoping to produce. Well, here's the goal again, and it's a really nice ball to put him through. The vision to set up the chance is outstanding, and there's certainly no doubt about the finish. He really hits it with power and accuracy. Nothing the keeper can do about that. The goal, Drake. Well, that's a pass of high quality. Real chance. And he's done it! Parity again! A magnificent game unfolding! Well, here it is again. He goes past his marker so easily with just a drop of the shoulder. And once he gets onto it, he just smashes it past the keeper. Joe Edwards. Well, doesn't have to do it on his own. And space for him to cut in. Well, the fans really want him to shoot. Oh, good save.
Well, they've got things going again here, and I wonder what kind of second half we have in store for us. A very good tackle. Sumptuous ball, and he's in the clear, and it's in! The back in front, stunning scenes here! Well, let's take another look. It's a really well-timed pass to break the offside line, and then from there, the keeper has little chance. Two on one, left completely exposed, and it made for a simple finish in the end. And taken short. Powerhan could be. They just couldn't stay in front. And now this match is all square. Well, we won't get tired of watching this because the interplay around the box is wonderful. But I don't think the keeper should be beaten at his near post quite so easily. I thought that was stoppable. And level again here. This has been quite the roller coaster ride. James Chester. Now McGoldrick. Oh, lovely ball. He's in with a chance. And it's there for him. Keeper did his job to begin with. Fisted clear. Well, they might be piling on the pressure, but they've got to make it count in those situations, that's for sure. Oh, showing excellent vision, and the alarm bells are ringing. And there is the goal! He's found the net, joy unconfined! Well, let's look at this again. To pick out this pass shows wonderful vision. It's inch perfect. And then through on goal, he just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper. There's no stopping that. What a great finish. Connor Hurahan. Oh, do they have a goal in the future? They're giving it a go. And a chance to level it. And there it is, the final whistle. And the fans will be leaving the stadium with smiles on their faces. Just a moment of your time. Yeah, no further questions, thanks. So, a great start to the new season with a 3-2 win, but we lose Finn as as for three months with a broken toe. Tune in next time, guys, as we move into September. Thanks for watching.